In today's video, I'm back with sunscreen reviews. I'm going to be reviewing two of them. They are Japanese sunscreens. I opened them a few months ago. I would like to share my thoughts and experience on this both as they are by Japanese brand Kose. I will tell you which one is better and is it worth purchasing or not. So stay tuned and keep watching. First of all, I would like to talk about the price point. So they are inexpensive Japanese sunscreens, which you can find on Yes Style. I'm not sure about other websites. Maybe you can find it at Stylevana. I will try my best to find links to those at other retailers, maybe also Amazon, if you cannot purchase from Yes Style. So they are around $10. They are pretty much the same size. So this one in the pink bottle, Milky Gel is around 80 grams almost three ounces and this one is 100 milliliters which is 3.3 ounces next one that i'm going to compare them is about texture they are completely different sunscreens and they give you completely different experience they are both spf 50 plus pa plus 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 i am um, fine using them both during summer but right now it's going to be fall and winter i also don't mind to use them this sunscreen the gold bottle is more like hair gel i also heard the same inside from uh, fellow skin influencers that it feels like hair gel when you apply it and milky gel it looks more like curd you know it's like very thick a cream that crumbled a little bit they give both natural finish i would say that milky gel which is in pink bottle gives a little bit like natural and dy finish so something in between the sun cut gives you more like natural finish it looks like you don't wear anything at all on your skin do they contain alcohol? This version, which is Perfect Gel, a super waterproof. It contains alcohol and it smells a little bit like alcohol when I dispense it into the measuring spoon or on my fingers and while I'm applying. But after application, it really just evaporates and it doesn't even feel like it's on my skin. I don't have this alcohol scent on my skin either. Alcohol sometimes used to thin textures also it helps to penetrate some of the ingredients deeper into the skin so i think this is the case with uh uv perfect gel that it's just alcohol evaporating and it helps with absorption and application as well so this is four o'clock p.m and this is how the finish of the sunscreen looks like it looks kind of shiny on the video but actually in real life it doesn't look that shiny I reapplied one time just a little bit and I can see that there is tiny patches uh, like white patches but it looks totally normal if I try to touch it with my hands I feel like it's going to slide uh, oh here you see that it's kind of sliding a little bit but actually if you want to reapply again it's not going to slide. I feel like there is the minimal white cast because this contains titanium dioxide. This version, which is milky gel, doesn't contain alcohol and maybe if you are sensitive to the alcohol and you don't like to have alcohol in your skincare products you can use this version which is almost the same, uh, the same as a super waterproof version. Talking about staining in your eyes, I didn't experience staining in my eyes uh, because I feel like those two sunscreens, they stick well to the skin and then they don't move around on the skin like some of other uh, Korean, for example, sunscreen that I try that they are more dewy and moisturizing and they tend to roll inside my eye. So this one, I didn't experience anything like that so what about the feeling on the skin i talk about the finish so i would say that i like to use the pink bottle which is a milky gel during fall and winter because it gives me a from natural to dy finish and it feels kind of like moisturizing skip moisturizer so if you are oily skin and if you like to buy this version 
you can skip moisturizer as well for dry skin maybe you should apply a little bit of moisturizer before applying this spf talking about the gold version uh water super waterproof version i would say that i would like to apply a lot of moisturizer before using the sunscreen i think it's a good match for oily skin for those who like super oily and maybe live in humid countries like in southeast asia or something because it tends to dry my skin i don't know is it due to alcohol or due to the formula i also have a little bit of problem while applying this sunscreen while i'm applying it it's already start feeling kind of like sticky so you need to work it very fast don't take a lot of time like don't do even layers like you need to dispense uh, one quarter of a teaspoon for face and neck and spread it like so fast and immediately because it's drying so fast and then it will leave like a sticky feeling on on your face I would say that it's very waterproof like I would say that it's a durable version of the sunscreen I also would want to choose this one when I go out on the bike or on the walk and I know that I'm going to uh, extra sweating like in summer for example and I know that sweat wouldn't break the sunscreen that fast as as a drugstore sunscreens in America or Korean chemical sunscreens because you know those tend to be melted by sweat or water or whatever pretty fast but this one i feel like it's very durable and a good option for those who like outdoors activities in a way i have a problem wearing sunscreen and vitamin c products so sometimes i have a problem in peeling so some of the sunscreen kind of peeling so i found that this sunscreen uh, peels a little bit when it's time to reapply but this is the time to reapply so it starts to peel so when you reapply then you have no problem because it's kind of like uh, smudge everywhere and it's uh, smoothest everywhere on the skin talking about this version super waterproof version it peels a lot even before it's time to reapply so i don't know it's kind of weird sunscreen that it's kind of durable but at the same time it peels i don't know i'm not sure that i'm going to repurchase this version i'm sure that i will repurchase this one if i don't find anything better because i like the feel the the wear the finish and etc of this sunscreen I guess this is all the review for two of the sunscreens i was thinking about reviewing them for a long time but i wanted to take some time by testing them and uh, if you like more reviews on skincare and especially sunscreens and unboxing videos please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please like this video and uh, leave a comment if you have any skincare questions for me and i will see you in my next videos and bye bye